guys and welcome back to my channel my name is Kanisha if you're new here go ahead hit that subscribe button give me a like and comment your website down below okay so today I'm going to show you guys how to make custom lip gloss boxes from Dollar Tree if you guys would like an in-depth tutorial on how I use Avery templates make sure you guys go check out my how to make lip gloss labels video Now I always tell you to print it out on a regular sheet of paper before you put in your more expensive paper. This is the photo paper that I showed you guys. It's a glossy finish and then the inside has a matte. So if you guys do do this, make sure you guys put the glossy paper right side up. Okay? So this is the box. It came out literally perfect. Like I have no complaints. Okay, so as you guys can see, the paper that we got from Dollar Tree is called Premium Photo Paper, um, and it literally was a dollar. So it's eight and a half by 11 inches, and it's a gloss paper. This paper is 48 pounds, and then I wanted to give you guys another option just in case you don't have this paper at your Dollar Tree, or if you want to use like a different color or something heavier. So this is 80 pound cardstock. Of course, if you need like a couple hundred or something like that, I would recommend going to Michael's using the discount code and you can get a huge pack for like three, four dollars. The most you'll probably spend is like six dollars. So there's different options for everybody. It just depends on your budget. You can use like construction paper, but the difference is going to be the weight. Here's what the paper looks like that comes from Dollar Tree. It comes with eight sheets, like I said before. I basically printed everything out, and now we're going to go ahead and cut the boxes out. So let's start with the white paper, just because this is the cheapest, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will probably use this. What I'm going to be using today is a glue gun. You can use whatever you want, whatever you have, whatever you're most comfortable with to glue it down. So I'm going to show you guys how I do everything step by step. And yeah, so I'm going to just go ahead and cut this out and I'll show you guys when I'm finished. Okay guys, so I purchased this um, from Michael's, I believe, or Hobby Lobby, and I believe it was like $7 or oh, Walmart, I forgot where I purchased it from, but wherever I purchased it from, I know I used a coupon. If you guys don't have this, it's basically like a little small spatula for folding the ends on things to make it really, really crisp. Um, you don't have to use this at all, but I already have it here. I have like all of the Cricut tools, so I might as well use it just to show you guys. So what I'm going to be doing is just folding along the lines right here. And um, yeah, I'm going to do that and then I'll show you guys what all of them look like when I'm finished. Okay, so if you guys don't have one of these, I just want to show you guys that you don't need it. And you can literally do it without that. But like I said, I just had it and I just picked it up. Especially if you're using this photo paper, it's way easier to fold down than the... Um, cardstock because it's not as thick so all you do is make sure you're on the line and fold it it's not hard at all okay guys so i folded all of them up and this is how they're looking i just have to add the glue and put in the little folds and i'm going to show you guys that so i have my glue gun right here and i'm just going to put glue along the sides right there and then fold it up like I said, you can use double-sided glossy finish. Really adds a better touch to the box than the matte. Okay, so as you guys can see, I have the black line showing. You do not have to keep yours like that. When you print it out, all you have to do is flip the paper over and use that side instead. I wanted a little detail to mine, so I kept it on there. I'm going to make a few videos like these, so I'll show you guys different designs and stuff that I use. As you can see, I decided to put the logo on the side instead of in the front. Thank you 
you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for 5K. Let's get to 10K. I think we're at like 5,800 now. I'm trying to get to 10K really, really soon. Turn on my post notifications and check out my description box. I have a wholesale business and I sell webinars and I have a, like a girl boss Instagram page. It'll be linked down below. Follow my personal Instagram and check out katiekgd.com. If you guys like this video and you found it helpful, let me know down in the comments. Which color do you guys like the best? Light pink, dark pink, or white? Let me know down in the comments as well. These lip glosses are only $4.99. I have a few more left in stock. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys next time. So here is some logo stickers that I did. This is from my other business that I have. It's um, Shop Pretty and Paid on Instagram. Stickers for my cousin's business. So if you guys want to check that out, I'll have it linked down below as well. But these are so freaking cute. And if you guys need some for your business, just go to the description box and follow me and give me a DM or an email.